السلام عليكم good afternoon good evening good evening how are you وعليكم السلام hi teacher I'm fine how are you Sultan I'm fine um الحمد لله um I'm sorry for being late but I I had a connection problem Okay. I don't know problem while uh, logging in the Zoom Zoom app. Okay, how are you? We have um, How are you? Hi Ala, we have Asma, Ala, Lubna. Iman, Rama, uh, Ahmed Sultan. How are you all? I hope you're doing well. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm good. Thank you. Fine. Okay, let's start our lesson. Uh, last lesson, we we had a message about summer, right? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it clear? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. So let's start with this text. Um, yes, please. Who can read? Me? Yes, please. Go ahead. Okay. It's January 10th. Today, Jane is 17 years of age. She is wearing a pretty new dress. It's blue and white. Jane is having a party today and she's expecting all her friends to come. They are, all, uh, they are going to arrive in a short time. They are going to bring many beautiful presents with them. with them. Jane's mother has prepared a lot of nice things to eat and drink. The young people are going to play games, sign, dance, and listen to music. They will have a wonderful time together. Thank you. Yes, who can read? Me. Yes, please. Lubna. Yes, Lubna. It is January 18th. Today, uh, it's... Uh, it's January 10th. 10th. It's January 10th. Today, Jan is 17 years of ago. She is of, wearing... Of age. Of age. Okay. She so, is wearing... uh, this OF, please pronounce it as of, not of. 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 Okay. V. V. Of. Of, of age. Not of age, of age. Of age. Okay. She is wearing a party new dress. A pretty. A pretty. A pretty new dress. Mm -hmm. It is blue and white. Jan is having a Same. party today. Having. Jan is having a Jane, party Jane. today. A. Jane. Jane mm -hmm. is having a party today and she is ex expecting all her friends to come to come. Yes. They are going to arrive in a short time. They are going to bring many beautiful uh, presents. 
with them. Jane's mother has prepared a lot of uh, nice things to eat and drink. The young people are going to play games, sing, dance, and listen to music. They will have a wonderful time together. Okay, thank you. So it is January 10th. It's the 10th or the 10th uh, day of January. Today, Jane is 17 years of age. She is wearing a pretty new dress. You can say it new or new. New or new. You can say a pretty new dress. Okay, new is British and new is American. It is blue and white. Um, Jane is having a party today and she is expecting all her friends to come. They are going to arrive in a short time. They are going to bring many beautiful presents with them. Jane's mother has prepared a lot of nice things to eat and drink. The young people are going to play games, sing, dance, and listen to music. They will have a wonderful time together. Okay, let's analyze uh, the text and see if we have any new words. Um, we have in second line, she is wearing a pretty new dress. What's the meaning of pretty? Beautiful. Nice, beautiful. beautiful. Very nice. good. Nice, very good, yes. Yes, please write it in your notebook. Pretty is nice or beautiful. Um, it is blue and white. Jane is having a party today. And she is, is expecting all her friends to come. What's the meaning of expect? Invite. Um, no. Uh, tell him, uh, tell them to, get, to come. Tell Sorry? them to come. Sorry? Sorry, I said uh, she tell him to come to the party. Yes, very good. So she t told him to come to the party. Sh so she is waiting for them. Okay. Be so she she thinks that they will come because she already invited them. Okay. When you expect something, so you think that thing will happen. Okay? Okay. Um, expecting all her friends to come. They are going to arrive in a short time. They are going to bring many beautiful presents. What's the meaning of presents? Uh, presents, uh, like gift? Um, gift. We don't gift. pronounce it. G G G it's G. Okay. Gifts, very good, yes. Presents, gifts. Uh, as you know, that present is a verb, present is a verb, and present is a noun, okay? Yes. This word can come as a verb and as a noun, but the accent, you know, the accent in, in English, it's like, it's similar to ashadda fi al-Arabi, okay? Yes. So um, when... Yes, it's uh, uh, the stress, the stress upon um, uh, the letter. For example, when the stress is on the first letter, so it, it is a noun and it is pronounced as present. Okay? But okay. when it comes as a verb, um, the the uh, stress will be on the second syllable on on z on s okay so it it is uh, pronounced as present present 
present as a verb and present as a noun. You see? So okay. the, the stress, when move the stress, will um, change the figure of speech of the word. You know the figure of speech? Is it a, a verb, a noun, an adjective, an adverb? Uh, not yeah. figure of speech, sorry, parts of speech. Okay? When, for example, uh, I ask you, what is the part of speech of this word? So it is a noun. Okay? For example, what is the part of speech of this word? It is an adjective. Adjective. Yes, very good. Okay. So presents um, gifts. Um, Jane's mother has prepared a lot of nice things to eat and drink. The young people are going to play games, sing, dance, and listen to music. They will have a wonderful time together. I think that the rest of the words are easy, right? We don't have... Uh, do you have any difficult word? You want me to explain it? No, no. Okay. Um, so please, close your book. And each one of you is going to tell me uh, what the main idea of the passage. Or you can, like, make a summary of the passage. Jane birthday. Yes. How can I, I spell or pronounce its birthday? It's, it's the, not the. Okay. It's birthday. Yeah. Birthday, birthday, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. She, she preparing uh, to, um, to this day. She yeah. invite uh, his, uh, her friends. Uh, yes. Uh, and um, she wearing, um, I forget. Yes, a dress. Yes, a dress white and, the blue, um, and, and the blue. blue. Very good, yes. And her mother um, preparing mm -hmm. a lot of things. Yes, very good. And uh, they dancing and uh, listening to music. Very good, yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, yes, anyone else? Okay. Yes, please. Uh, the paragraph uh, told us about uh, Jane's birthday. Uh, uh, what uh, what does she wearing, uh, um, and uh, what her mother uh, prepared to the to the her her friends? Yes. And uh, what uh, what they doing? Mother mm -hmm. Saif uh, Alun, and where and uh, what uh, Jane uh, wearing? What does Jane wearing? Okay, so what will they do in their birthday party? They sing, dance, listen to music. Mm -hmm. And what does her mother do? Uh, her mother uh, prepared uh, the the food, uh, the food and the fruit. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yes. And how old is Jane? Uh, How old uh, her, is she? Uh, her old, her old uh, 17. Okay. Uh, uh, when we want to reply to this question or to answer this question, we don't say her old or, or my old or his old. We, we say just she is, she is 17. Oh, sorry, she is 17. Yes. If I ask you, how old are you? You will tell me I am, for example, 25, etc. Or whatever okay so okay. i am or he she he is or she is you can say just i am and the number 
and you can say, for example, I am 17 years old. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, yes. Anyone want to share the summary of the text? I think uh, they said all things. That's yes, enough. yes, try try to say the same, no problem. Just really, in, I, I in different, I in different ways. I didn't attention. I, I'm, I'm ready, but uh, I didn't attention because I am so busy. But I will try. Yes, yes, please. Go ahead. The birthday. Jane, have, Jane has uh, a party for her birthday. Uh, she invited uh, her friends. Mm -hmm. Her mother, her mother, prepared the food and the drinking. Uh, mm -hmm. They wear a new clothes or hair dress to mm -hmm. the party. Uh, it's very uh, happy, and uh, she and her friends danced and uh, ate food. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Enough? So, yes, very good. When we want to say, for example, she and her friends, we will start with her friends. We will see her friends and she. For example, my friend and I. This is the way in, in English, okay? Um, uh, when we want to say um, birthday, not birthday. Birthday, it's common mistake, okay? It's birthday. Th, not the. Birthday. Birthday. Okay, when we want to talk about cloth or plural, we we uh, we say clothes. Okay, clothes. I will write it on the chat. Um, this word. It's not clothes. Okay, um, it's pronounced as clothes. Clothes, not clothes. Okay. And th thank you because um, when you, um, for example, uh, try to, to read or something, so you will have, for example, some issues in pronunciation and it's uh, very good to make such mistakes because you will learn from those mistakes. Okay, so say it as close, close, not closes. Okay, thank you so much. Let's move to um, the question below the text. Okay, these are the questions. Uh, question number one, what is the date today? Whose birthday is it? Whose to ask about a uh, position of something or, or of somebody? Okay, for example, if I uh, see, for example, um, keys or watch so i will say whose is it or whose watch watch like the clock but that you uh, wear in your wrist okay in your hand so whose watch is it lemon okay to ask which person um this thing belongs to um how old is she uh, is Jane wearing a new dress or is she wearing an old one? Um, is she having a party or not? When will her friends arrive? What are the young people going to do at the party? Okay. As usual, please answer these questions right now. But make your answers not more than 51 words, OK? 
okay? And make it as a paragraph, as a text, not as one, two, three, four, not as sentences. I need your your um answers um to be like a paragraph or a text, okay? And uh, you will read um your answers after I think ten minutes is enough. But before going to the answer, I will uh, pay your attention to something. Uh, you see this text, it's similar uh, to the way when you writing a paragraph. So we, you will start with a topic sentence. Then after the topic sentence, you will support the topic sentence. Okay. And uh, a lot of you, um, forgot the concluding sentence to add. When you sent me the uh, um, your, your paragraphs to the group, I see many of you um, didn't write a concluding sentence, okay? You see, this is a concluding sentence. They, they will have a wonderful time together. So it's important to start with a topic sentence, to support the topic sentence, and to end your text with a concluding sentence. Okay, so this this is the notice for um, composition or writing course because many of you um, forget to write a concluding sentence. So please don't forget to write a concluding sentence. Okay, let's move to the um, to the questions. Yes, please. You have um, ten minutes. Okay. Um, please answer these questions using the form of paragraph, okay? Is it okay? Yes, okay. okay, okay. Yes, okay. yes, please start.
Okay, have you finished? Yes. Yes, can you please read your text? Okay. Uh, it is January 10th and it is a Jane uh, birthday. Uh -huh. Today, Jane is uh, 17 years of age. In this day, Jane is wearing a pretty new dress and she is having a party. She invites her friends and they are going to arrive in a short time. Uh -huh. During the party, the young people are going to play games, sing, dance, and listen to music. To music, it was an amazing party, and they had an interesting time together. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Yes, please. Who can read the text? Yes, please. Go ahead. Me. Uh, the date uh, today is a, birth a birthday. It is a Jan birthday. Sorry, what is the first sentence? The date today mm -hmm. is a birthday. No, date, it's like it, when I ask you what is the date today, I mean, uh, I'm expecting you to tell me about the day the months, okay. Uh, we put the, uh, the day. Yes, what is the day today? So you will tell me it's November 7th, for example. Okay. Okay, so here the question uh, from the text. What What's the day, day today? Uh, the day is a better day. No. What's the day today? Mm -hmm. If I ask you about today, this day that we are in, um, so you will say it's November 7. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm telling you to, uh, um, um, yani, uh, I'm asking you to tell uh, me uh, about the date, yani, day and the months. The, uh, uh, the day uh, is seven. Uh, seven. Seven of what? The heck of, uh, no, of it's January, ten, not uh, seven. Of, uh, it's ten. Ten. It's ten, ten of January. <clears throat> yes. January. It's ten of January. Um, I don't understand the, the question. Okay, no problem. Uh, it is a uh, uh, Jan birthday because uh, she is seventeen years old. Mm. We don't uh, write here because because we don't have like a cause and result for something. Okay. Okay. You okay. can just put uh, uh, and she is. You can say that. And. Okay. Or you can put full stop and uh, start a new sentence. Okay. Mm. Uh, it is uh, Jan birthday. She is 17 years old. Mm hmm she is wearing a new dress, come on, because she having a party today. Okay, thank you. So uh, before, before, because we don't put a comma. Okay. Okay. Every mm -hmm. time you you write because, don't write comma after after okay. because or because of, sorry before because, don't write comma. After. Sorry. Uh, after because we both not uh, after not be on. not uh, not before no. Okay. Don't add comma okay. at all. Because she having a party today. She is having. Uh, so she is having. Okay. So or because. Uh, the, the next sentence is. So the, no, you, you said she, uh, she is wearing a new dress because she is having a party, okay. right? Okay. Yes, very good. Uh, the, uh, uh, their fr uh, her, her friend going uh, to arrive in, sh in a short are, time. Are going. Are going. Are, the friends are going. Okay. 
Yes. Uh, the young uh, people are going to play games, uh, sing, dance, and uh, listen to music. Okay, thank you. Very uh, good. Uh, but uh, while while answering, this is uh, um, this is not for you, for all of you. While answering this question, try to put like linking words. Try to connect your words uh, or your answers okay. by, for example, by so and but because, however, although. Okay. okay. We had some linking words yesterday. You you, you remember that? Yes. Uh, yes. The composition writing course. Yes, you can uh, use them in order to uh, have them easier, not like to face difficulty while using um, the linking words. Okay. Okay. Yes, please. Anyone want to read the text? Me, miss. Yes, please. A great birthday party. It is January 10th. It is uh, Jana Persei. Uh, can, can you say it slowly? slowly, please? Okay. Uh, a great birthday party. It is um, January 10th. Uh, it is Jana What is the Persei. first sentence? She is 17. So, a great birthday party. What is the date today? What's the answer for this question? What is the date today? Uh, miss, we need a topic. Uh, we need a topic sentences because I write that. I write this. Okay, so, uh, okay. So please uh, read it slowly. Start from the beginning. Okay. Yes, please. I'm sorry, I'm not going to read it. Okay, no problem. Yes, it's okay. I agree. A great birthday party. It is January 10th. It is Jana birthday. She is a 17 great January years party. Of age. What the meaning of a great January party? It's like a title? Yeah. Yeah. A great uh, no, yeah. it is January 10th. It is Jana birthday. Yes. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Uh, she is 17 she is 17 years of age mm -hmm. she she is having uh, she is having uh, wearing a new dress and she is having a great birthday with her friends yes and they are dancing and listening music is that enough okay thank you Yes, please. Anyone want to to share the text? Me, Prof. Me. Yes, please. It is January tenth. Today, Jane is seventeen years of age. She is wearing a nice dress. Mm -hmm. It's a new. She is having a party. She invited her friends. She insisted that they come. They mm -hmm. will arrive in a short time. Yes. They will bring they will bring a many gift gift to Jane. The young people are going to play games, singing, dancing. It's a good time and a crazy part party. In the end, Jane had a great party. Okay, thank you. Uh, the the young people are going to play. Uh, dance and sing. We don't say are going to play dancing, singing. Okay, so uh, these words because oh, they have uh, comma play play games, play games, comma mm -hmm. sing and dance. For example, come on. Okay, like infinitive, 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 not infinitive ing ing. Okay. Okay, hello again. Hello. Okay, before the break, we were talking about a text um, of Jane's birthday. 
um, we have answered the questions below the text. Uh, before moving to a new text, your assignment is to write about your birthday. Okay, please write a paragraph about your birthday. Okay, this is your homework. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let's move to a new text in order to read it. Uh, do you have any question concerning this text before moving to a new one? No, no, it's clear. Okay, thank you. Um, let's admit your colleagues. Okay, the next passage, passage number six, Yes, please. Who can read? Me? Yes, please. It's still winter, but on Sunday, the weather was fine. We decided to go on a trip to the seaside. The sun was bright, bright and warm, but we didn't go into the water. It was too cold. Instead, we walked along the shore and looked at the ships. Um, Ahmed, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, we walked, not walked, walked, walked and we looked, walked, looked. Looked. And looked. Yeah, say it as T. Yes. In the evening, we returned home. Then a strong wind began began uh, wind to, not wind wind began to blow and it began to rain so we sat round a warm fire we didn't mind about the weather at all okay thank you yes please anyone me yes please it is still winter but on sunday uh, the weather was fine we decided to go uh, on a trip to the seaside. The sun was bright and warm, but we didn't go into the water. It was too cold. Instead, we walked along the shore uh, and looked at the ships. In the evening, uh, we returned home. Then a, uh, a strong wind began to blow and it began to rain so we sat uh, around uh, a warm fi a fire we didn't mind about the weather all uh, at all at all thank you yes please anyone can i read yes please go ahead yes please go ahead me Yes, it, uh, it is still winter, but on Sunday, uh, the weather was fine. We decided to go in a trip on, to the on sea seaside. On, not in. On a trip to the sea seaside. Uh, the sun was seaside. Mm -hmm. uh, the sun was bright and warm. Where? But we did not go into the water. It was too cold. Instead, we went along the shore and looked at the ship. And and looked, walked and looked. And, and looked at the ship. In the evening, we returned home. Uh, then a strong wind began to blow. And it began to run. Rain. Uh, so we said, rain. Uh, so we said, around a warm fine, fair. Uh, we did not mean about the weather at it. 
at all. Okay, thank you. Um, let's, I will read the text. It's still winter, but on Sunday, please uh, notice that if we have before but or after but, when we have a full sentence, we need to put comma before but. If we have after it, a full sentence like subject, verb, and complement. On Sunday, I don't say in Sunday. With the days, I use on. On Sunday, the weather was fine. Um, we decided to, to go on a trip to the seaside. The word trip, the preposition, preposition, it means harf al We use with, with the word trip on. We don't say to go in a trip, no. To go on a trip, okay? To the seaside, seaside it means like the area beside or near to the sea. Um, the sun was bright. Bright it means like shiny, shiny. And warm, warm means cozy. Okay, I will write it in the chat. Cozy means warm. Okay, it's a synonym or a word with the same meaning. The sun was bright, bright, shiny. Um, this is shiny, I will write it. Okay, bright and warm, but we didn't notice that we have but and after, before it we have comma uh, because after but we have full sentence. But we didn't go into the water. It was too cold. Instead, we walked along the shore. What the meaning of shore? It means the beach, right? Um, we wa walked along the shore and looked at the ships. In the evening, we returned. Returned, what the meaning of returned? In go back. Past. Yes, go back in the present. And it's because past, we went back. Okay, we returned home. We don't say we returned to home. We don't say that. Okay. We say we return home. We go home. We go back home without any proposition. Ay harfjar. Without. Okay. Then a strong wind. Wind like the air. Okay. Or a strong air. Okay. Um, a strong wind began to blow. What's the meaning of blow? Yani tahub aw imamana. Yes, in English, when I I don't remember. Sorry. When the the ear moves. Okay. Ah, Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Uh. When a strong wind began to blow and it began to rain, what the meaning of began? Uh, started. Start. Started. Started. Started because it's in the bust. Okay. Um. So we said set the bust of the word sit. Round. Round like surrounding, around something. A warm fire, we didn't mind. What the meaning of didn't mind? Uh, we agree. We don't agree. care. Don't care. Yes, very good. We don't we don't care or we don't think about anything. Um about the wizard at all. 
Okay, notice the tense used in this um, text, the tense like a zaman um, uh, used in this text is in the past because I am telling something happened in the past. It's like a um, story you, you are telling or an experience you have you had in the past so the um when i i'm telling you about for example um a trip that i went on so the tense used is past the sun was bright was not is because i'm telling about something that happened in the past a story happened with me we didn't go into it was okay so all of these are uh, all of these uh, verbs are in in the past okay um, any difficult word no okay so please close your book and give me the summary of this text Me? Yes, please. Lubna? Yes. Uh, in the uh, winter, uh, was uh, fine. Uh, decided to uh, uh, to the uh, seaside. Sea Mm -hmm. uh, the sun uh, evening we uh, we return re return returned home uh, because it it's be beginning uh, to uh, to um, rain uh, beginning to rain uh, so we uh, sat uh, sat around the uh, wire for. A uh, warm for uh, fire, warm fire. That's enough. I'm um, sorry. I was talking while uh, the microphone is mute. Sorry for that. Yes, anyone else? Me? Yes, please. Yes, Ahmed. Or day? Yes. We wanted to go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Because the weather was very nice. We are mm -hmm. in the winter. We were in the winter. Yes. But the sun, but the sun, but but the sun was a sunlight. Can I mean the, the sun was warm, for example, or the was bright. Yes. We want we we went to the mm -hmm. beach, and we didn't swim. We looked to the ship, ships. Yes. Then the Lo world, looked then looked not to looked at look at ships. Yes. Then, then the wind come came. Yes. And we returned home very fast. Okay. That's enough. Yes, very good. Yes, thank you, Ahmed. Thanks. Yes, anyone else? Me, teacher. Yes, please. Yes, Ahmed. Mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, winter, mm -hmm. but uh, the weather in on Sunday is fine. Mm -hmm. 
we decided to go to the beach. Uh, the sun uh, there is uh, cozy. Yes. There, there was. But but we did, didn't in, enter the water. Mm -hmm. Because it was uh, cold. Very good. Uh, instead, we decided to walk uh, alongside the the beach. Yes. After that, uh, we returned home. Uh, we returned the, home. The yes. Wind returned home. The, the wind started to blow strongly. Yes. And it started to rain. Very good. We we sat around a warm a warm fire, mm -hmm. and did not uh, mind the weather. And we didn't mind the weather. Very good. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, let's move to um to the questions. Okay, we have here seven um questions. Question number one, is it still winter or summer? Did we go to the seaside on Sunday or not? Where did we walk? What did we watch? When did we reach home? Reach like arrive, all right? What happened then? Where did we sit? Okay, um, see that each question has did because all the questions are in the past, okay, or uh, to ask about something happened in the past. So your answers should be in the past, okay? Yes, please answer this question right now. Um, have eight minutes, okay, answer them in the shape of a paragraph, then you can read your answers. Okay, please start.
Yes, please. Have you finished? Can I read? Yes, please. Fada? Fada. Yes, please. Since it's still uh, winter, we decided to go in a beach. <coughs> Have one. To the seaside, we will get along uh, the beach and look it at the ship. And in looked. the evening, looked. we walked looked. and looked. looked. And looked at the ship. In the evening, we uh, returned home. Uh, uh, then a strong wind began to uh, blow. Mm -hmm. uh, so we sat around uh, a warm fire. We, we sat or sat? Sit. Sit. No, sit in, in the present. I need the verb in the past. We sat. And said. We sat round a warm fire. Fire. Yes, thank you. But you can make it um, a more better if you add some linking words. Okay, in order to link or to connect your sentences. Thank you. Yes, please, who can read? Me. Yes, yes, go ahead. Yes. It is still winter, but we went to the seaside on Sunday. During we, we walked along uh, the, the shore and Watch it at the ships. In the evening, we were uh, reach home. Then a strong wind uh, be began to uh, to blow to allow to blow, uh, and it began to rain. However, so we sat around a warm fire. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, what is the linking words that you um, used in uh, question number one and two? Um, number one and two. Uh, but uh, but we went to the seaside on sun, uh, Sunday. Very good. Okay, because it's still winter, but we went to the seaside. Okay, okay. Uh, but is, is it good? And you can also use however, okay? You can say it is still winter, full stop. However, comma, we went to the seaside. Yani both are correct to use however or okay. but. Okay, thank you. Can I read? Yes, please go ahead. It's still winter. But on Sunday, weather was a nice. We went to seaside. The sun was warm. However, we didn't swim. The weather was cold. Very good. We watched, we watched the ships in the night. We went back to at home. Then a wind started and it began train. Again. Be began a rain. Mm -hmm. So we sat around. We we sat around a warm fire. We didn't care about the weather. Very good. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Can I read? Uh, but, uh, yes, you can read. Just uh, one note. I have one note for you. Uh, when we want to say watch in the past, we, we don't say watched. No, say it as watched. Watched. Okay? Like ED is pronounced as T. The same as walked. Watched. Looked. Not looked. Not walked. Not watched. Okay? 
Yes, please. Uh, it's uh, it's still winter, but the weather was warm, so we decided to go uh, on a trip to the uh, seaside on Sunday. When mm -hmm. arrived, uh, when arrived, uh, we walked along the beach and looked at the ships. In the evening, we returned home, and suddenly a strong wind began to blow, uh, to blow, and it began to rain. So we sat around a, a warm fire. Um, uh, we we were we were interesting, and uh, we didn't care about the weather. Uh, we were excited. Okay. Not, not interesting. Interesting. Something is interesting. I say um, we were not, excited. Not uh, uh, interesting. Uh, interested. Interested. Yes, you can say interested. Uh, yes, but uh, uh, it's better to say excited. Yes. Can Can you say uh, your sentence beginning with the word uh, where or when? Yes, we were excited. No, no, um, I think uh, sentence number three or four. When you start the sentence with the word when. Yes, when arrived, we walked. When we arrived. When we arrived, come on. Okay. When we okay. arrived, walked along the beach. Okay, when we arrived, yes. after arrived, you need to put comma. Okay. When we arrived, comma, yes, we walked, okay. yes, very good. We walked along the sea side or the shore. Yes, very good, thank you. Uh, the, the point is uh, to try to use linking words. And uh, okay. I'm proud of you because uh, many of you are using linking words, very good. Yes, please, anyone? Can I do? Yes, please, go ahead. Uh, it is still winter, but we decided to go to the seaside on Saturday because mm -hmm. the weather was fine. Was fine. We walked alongside the beach and watched the far away ships. Ships. We returned home in the evening after a short... In the evening. After a short time, a strong wind started to blow, and it started raining. We sat, we sat around a cozy fire, not bothered by the weather outside. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, just far, you can just say, um, looked at the far ships without far away. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Anyone? Okay, thank you for all of you, for all your answers. Um, all of your answers are good. Um, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy the lecture and uh, I hope it was uh, interesting for you. Um, please don't forget to do the assignment, which is to write about what? Your uh, birthday. My birthday. birthday. Yes. You can, you birthday. can, uh, yes, you can um, choose a birthday party, your birthday party, and you can uh, tell us about the day, how, how, um, how it, it went this day, how, um, uh, your birthday happened, what happened during the day, okay? And if you didn't have any birthday before, you can just imagine, okay? Or you can talk about any birthday, but make it as your your own, your own birthday, okay? And don't forget the number of the words. It's okay. 80, 90, or 100 maximum. Okay, you can send it to the group. And please, one of you, just uh, write to the group, to your colleagues, um, about this assignment, that we have assignment to write about your birthday. Okay, do you have any question?
No, thank you. Thank very you. much. No, thank, you. thank you for your attendance and see you inshallah next lecture. Bye bye. Inshallah. Okay, there. Goodbye.